Hi, I'm Blitzen. I'm Derrickson. I'm Rudolph? <laughs> Welcome to the Men of the Den, and we're confused. Hi everyone, welcome to another week here on the den. Oh, one of my antlers is down. Welcome to another week here on the den. So seeing as it is Christmas, we are going to talk about all of the gift ideas for your friendly bear, and in some cases, your friendly pop. The must have bear shopping Must have list. bear shopping list. Yeah. Class, class, class. And, and pops. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so I'll let Steve start. Well, the first thing that came to my mind, you already probably see this coming, beard care uh, equipment. So for the bearded bear, yes, beard care. So beard oils, beard, beard combs, oil. beard, beard brushes. The boar's hair brush. Ooh, the yeah, sandalwood comb. You do not want this getting wild and untamed like this is. Some kind of beard oil that contains jojoba. And um, Genoa, J Genova, Jojoba oil, Genova. Isn't that what it's called? Stuff Jojoba right? oil. <laughs> Do you have any personal recommendations? Oh yeah, uh, the Billy. What is it? Billy Eilish? No, no Billy, Billy Jealousy. Jealousy. Billy Jealousy yeah. brand. <laughs> Billy Eilish beard oil, great beard oil. Beard oil. It's a bad yeah. beard oil. Do, do, do. It's for the bad. I like uh, their, uh, what is the lime? They have like a lime and avocado one that I really like. And McBarber uses it all. Really, really good. I liked the tobacco. Yes, and the tobacco, I can't remember what it was. Was it tobacco leather? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, the one that's found at work the best, I've said this before, is the L'Oreal one. My mom would know. It's fantastic. <laughs> L'Oreal! Uh, I, I always tell people, I'll stop and be like, oh, what brand of beard oil is that? I'm like, L'Oreal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like one called uh, Jack Black. It's, uh, is it's, it made by Jack Black? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Canadian brand and it's, uh, it's got like melon oil on it. It's, it smells really nice. I do love melon. I do like melons, so I do like that one. So there's some suggestions on that front. What about you, Dare? What about me? What kind of gifts? Yes. Suggestions? Well, there's always the. Oh, my belly is sticking out. I just thought I, I just thought I would pull down the shirt and point out that he's wearing a bear T-shirt. You just didn't want to expose my bear no, belly. No, <laughs> no, it was. I was pointing out you're currently wearing a bear T-shirt that is, you received for Christmas. That I did receive for Christmas. So from your mother. My mother did this, and she knew that I'm like really I like Norse stuff. So it's like kind of in like Norse like graphics. So, so that brings us to our next point. Bear themed t-shirts. Bear themed t-shirts are always good, and there's really there's always kinds of different uh, brands you can support, especially Canadian ones like Earthwear Bear, mm -hmm. um, Bears Mr. United, Mr. Uh, Bear, Mr. Bear, um, and Bearwear. Oh, I said Earth Bearwear. Um, so yeah, there's, there's no the company called Bearwear. Oh yeah, there's also a company called Bearwear. More than one person has come up with that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the novelty bear T-shirt, which is always appropriate for your bear runs and, uh, and hats, all the other bear events. Yeah, I mean novelty clothing in general, hats, onesies, name it. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say related to what you're wearing, the uh, men's onesie, or even more popular is the union suit around yes. this time of year. Especially with the butt flaps. Yes. You gotta have the butt flaps. Yeah, my, my union suit I have doesn't have a butt flap. Disappointment though, right? Well, even Nurse Bear right now has the new uh, union suits that are available on their website. Pointed below. Oh, and since I gave you mine, I was gonna say t-shirts. I'm gonna also gonna talk about pups, so I'm gonna let Derek do one other one that I think he'd be interested in talking about. What's that? What is the music? that you should get for the the bear in your life? That's, it's such a personal That's thing. a personal question. <laughs> but if, if, if you were, think quintessential bear. Quintessential. <laughs> what, what music would you get for a okay, quintessential bear? I know what bear? I'd get for you. What? I would get you Daddy B, I Want a Bear on vinyl. There you go. Yeah. So that there's one, what else? Kind of oh, if you're gonna get your bare standards, you're gonna get uh, if you're gonna get music by bigger dudes, you're gonna get Nathaniel Rayclip Nathaniel Rayclip in the Night Sweat. Right. You're gonna get your Big Dipper. You're gonna get your Rag and Bone Man mm -hmm. fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. there's a whole list of like 
Uh, artists who... Uh, What's the one that you... Uh, the, the album that you bought? Man on Man. Man on Man. Like, these are artists who are, know their bear status or are bears themselves and appreciate the bear community bear as well. Bear Force One. Bear Force One. Or a little pack. Or a little pack. There's not a really a bear, but... But, but he, he caters. He but caters. he does cater to the community, so... Yeah. He is a good choice as well, so there's lots of good choices. Yeah. But Nathaniel, Ra Nathaniel Rakeleth and Night Sweats. <laughs> now what do you get the the human puppy in your life? <laughs> well, you definitely bake them shortbread cookies and cut them out of the shape of dog bones. Just a minute, I missed I missed my opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, also so whenever you get them, you wrap it in a Paw Patrol uh, Nickelodeon gift bag. They love that every time. Every time they love the Paw Patrol bag. And as you know, this, on the Twitch stream last night, I did make Greg a dog bone gingerbread cookie. Uh huh. <laughs> That's all for you, and Turtle Pup Shiny. That is very oh, good. Are you eating my bone? Oh my god. They are a really good. I've really made good. those. You can uh, watch the VOD on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll yeah. throw in a few clips and I'll put some, some highlights from that from the, from the day. But again, is there anything else that's family friendly that you would get a pub? Um, in terms of family friendly, I mean, you'd always go, again, there's the pop themed t-shirts. Um, in terms of gear, like you get, of course, get the collar. Um, if you're, if there's the, the, I like the cuffs, the leather cuffs, or neoprene in my case, the one that Derek got me la uh, the last yeah. Christmas. Yeah. And you're looking for some pup themed wear as well. Mr. Bear has a, has a side business called Mr. Pup. Mm -hmm. Or there's another YouTube uh, group, What's the Safe Word, has a whole bunch of pup merchandise available as well. Or, what was that thing you saw today? What did I see today? Oh my god! They had these almost, he, he, he describes them as Royal Dalton. Yeah, they're like Royal, Royal Dalton figurines. Yeah. They have a bunch of fucking gay figurines at Men's Room. And they're like bear mermaids and like fucking. Oh, really? They're fucking beautiful. There's there's one that like, there's like a puppy mermaid one. There's a fucking lumberjack one. I'm mean, like, oh my god, I wish we had a place to put them because I would love oh, them. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. So, like, figurines of like kind of masculine type of mm -hmm. figures. Uh, if they're into comics, any bar I will do. And of course, if you want to go a little less friendly for behind the scenes, you can always get your puppy, you know, a cute dog dish to eat your food out of. Uh, depending on how you, how much you're into puppy play, um, any of the any of the the fetishy stuff. Uh, of course, you know, new hoods, new hats. There's lots of stuff you can do for puppies. Puppies are easy. Puppies are easy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, Derek. Talk more about your goddamn stream. Okay, so yesterday. <laughs> Um, so it turns out, yeah, we shared a one-year Twitch anniversary with lots of safe words, so they are going to be celebrating theirs next week, which is really exciting. But we had ours yesterday as well. Uh, we had ours yesterday, which was a three-hour baking stream where I made these gingerbread cookies, I made peanut butter truffles, and we made uh, short, uh, shortbread candy cane uh, buttercream bars as well. And it was a lot of work. It was a lot of chaos. It started off with like a cute stream of just baking, turning into a met, like chaos. When all of a sudden, three puppies were in the room and three bears. Yeah, four and bears. Four bears. It was a lot of fun. Um... We dip it in chocolate, and then we're gonna drizzle milk chocolate over it. Drizzle it. Drizzle it good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make anything dirty. It's happening. We're doing a super bear attack. Just don't tell me. It's all I have. Oh, 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 no, 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 we're actually not going to kill Greg. Uh, <laughs> How 
How fucking dare you? Attacked me with a magic wand. <laughs> showing up, taking part, giving those bits, hyping up the gift, bringing in the hype train and the gift subs. It was so much fun. And I cannot wait for our one year affiliate marathon stream that I have in the works, so yay. All right, everyone. Well, as always, like, share, subscribe, tune in the rest of the guys' videos, and see you all next week. Bye. Bye.